this entire time for most of my career, always investing in outside things like better gear. Yeah. Oh, my videos aren't good because I, I no, don't have the best camera. Yeah. No, I'm not. My, is... my podcast isn't good enough because, because the guest that I had isn't big enough or I'm not good enough Ooh. at editing it or I'm yeah. not doing it perfectly yeah. and uploading it perfectly. Blah, blah, blah. I feel like I'm in a process of humbling myself in an enormous way. Is that where the farm came in? The farm came in because of an existential crisis. The farm came in because I learned way too much about the world and and the math of where we were going. Yeah. And and the feeling and the the idea that if everyone lived like me, we would need five planets to survive. Yeah. And I say me like the average Canadian, and yeah. I don't live like the average Canadian. Okay. So if everyone lived like me, maybe we need seven. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I mean? No. Like, no. It is. It is. Yeah. Scary. So then when you kind of think about that and you think about like the vanishing of the bees and peak oil and, um, yeah. you know, just whatever problem, GMOs oh, and whatever, tons, right? Yeah. Like whatever problem you want to point to, I had watched way too many documentaries and I didn't know what to do. Yeah. And, and so that was your, yeah, I that like was a that. catalyst. And moment. so what does Bahala mean to you? Uh, beyond the, the lexicon of, or the, the, the history of the name, yeah, right? The, that's the the he- yeah. It's the yeah. heavens. Exactly. So it's, for those who don't know, it's, it's basically, um, when Vikings would die, they had this mythos that when they would die, they would go to the land of Asgard. Yeah. And in this land was this great hall called Valhalla where mm-hmm. they would train for the Battle of Armageddon. Basically, they were training for the battle of good versus evil. Yeah. And only the honorable soldiers that lived in this world and this life and this planet and this existence uh, would go to Valhalla yeah. to then wait yeah. and train for this battle. And for me, I, I, I believe that we're fighting the battle of good versus evil here. Yeah. That and is that so there's true. like a real struggle between yeah, good and evil um, playing out in a thousand and one different ways. And that's, and that's playing out every day. And, um, and a lot of that good and evil is inside of you, right? A mm. lot of that is not just like, Oh, it's them yeah, or the government or no, this I know. thing. So like van life made me take a good look at the way I consume. And I just kind of came to this realization that I'm addicted to shopping Mm -hmm. and I've been for my entire life, but not that that's really my fault. It's been brainwashed into every single person. Part of our culture. It is part of our culture. You need a new thing. You need a new thing. Um, I've recently challenged myself not to buy a new piece of clothing for six months. I said, so it's been like two now out of the six, but Mm -hmm. I was like, I'm not buying another piece of clothing. Yeah. I, and it's one of those things too, when you take away, like when you, stop thinking about what you're going to shop, what you need next. Um, you have a lot more time to think about other things. And I really like it for that. But yeah, exactly. Like that's one of the issues too, is like consumer and like, just like this fast fashion. And that's where I felt like was something that I was doing wrong. Yeah. And 2020 hit and it's just started, everyone's taking a look at their, at themselves and wondering how are we in this spot right now and how can I change? And that was one of the things that I, well, one of the few things that made me, feel like I need to change this part of my life. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I I feel like I've come full circle to some degree and I'm probably gonna go back for another loop. But on that journey where when I learned about the world, I kind of rejected everything. Mm-hmm. I felt like I rejected brand. I rejected buying things. Yeah. I rejected consumerism. I rejected money. Yeah. Even the idea, concept of wealth and the concept of money. All of which ironically is like the biggest... It's because I was reject I was rejecting it out of not wanting to have to prove it to my parents or prove yeah. it to someone, right? Mm-hmm. In some ways, but also because I saw the destruction it had created. Yeah. Um, and it still creates. And and now for the first time, I'm coming back through a period of big isolation and psychedelics and a bunch of other things, all of which are you know, yeah. therapy. Yeah. It's a yeah. better way of saying yeah. it. Like beyond psychedelics, it's therapy. Yeah. Um, I now am recognizing that I was this entire time for most of my career always investing in outside things like better gear. Yeah. Oh, my videos aren't good because I, I don't no, have the best camera. Yeah. No, I'm not. My, is... my podcast isn't good enough because, because the guest that I had isn't big enough or I'm not good enough Ooh. at editing it or I'm yeah. not doing it perfectly yeah. and uploading it perfectly. Blah, 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 it's blah, blah. It's easy blah. to think. I, I think that's one thing that I even remember our common friend. I remember mm-hmm. he was saying, I need this camera, I need that camera. And I was just like, you just need to go out with your camera yeah. and spend some time.